Ciao guys, today I want to talk about nautical maps and how to read them. The nautical map is a graphic representation of an area with all the points of interest to the navigation. There are different nautical maps based on their scale. We have general maps with a very tiny scale. We have landing charts and these have a slightly higher scale and are used for high sea navigation. Coastal chart, as the word says, those are used for coastal navigation. The one I'm showing you right now is a map for educational purposes and there are different elements we should be able to read and know what they mean. For starting in the top right position you can see the general information of the map, first the area, the kind of projection and the scale of the representation. Meridians are the vertical lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. They represent lines of longitude and help determine a vessel's east-west position. Parallels, on the other hand, are the horizontal lines that run parallel to the equator. Those represent line of latitude and indicate the vessel's north-south position. Together, meridians and parallels form a coordinate grid, allowing navigators to pinpoint exact locations using degrees, minutes and seconds of latitude and longitude. The lines represent depth contours, the isobaths, coastlines and boundaries. Contour lines connect points of equal depth. Then you can see the numbers inside each area which indicate the depths. We can see there are some symbols as well like ST which indicates sand and mud, CY is for clays, G is for gravel, debris or wreckage sometimes indicating a sunken vessel. This abbreviation helps sailors understand the seafloor, potential hazards and navigation heights at a glance. Always refer to the chart legend for exact meanings, as some symbols may vary by chart publisher. Ok, let's now try to make a real-life example in order to learn the very basics. Let's say I'm planning my voyage and I want to go from Capo di Poro to Punta Morcone. Let's draw a line and say I want to leave at 11 am. So I need to know how distant those two points are. At what time I'm going to get there if I keep a speed of let's say 5.7 knots, the fuel I should be carrying considering my consumption and the latitude and longitude of the arrival point. First of all, I take the compass to check how distant those two points are and I move to the latitude grid in order to measure the distance. So in this case the two points are 5.7 miles apart, how lucky! This means that if I leave it at 11 am and my speed is 5.7 knots, meaning 5.7 nautical miles an hour, by dividing my distance by the speed, I arrive at Punta Morcone in 1 hour, so at 12 am, at the right time to prepare my lunch. Let's write the expected time of arrival in the map. I also need to know how much fuel I should bring with me, so I know that I need to travel for one hour, I know my boat is consuming 10 liters an hour, so it means I should bring 10 liters, right? No. In Italy I'm also required by law to add a 30% more of fuel, so I need to bring with me 13 liters of fuel. So let's then say I'm meeting with a friend and I want him to reach my boat for lunch and I need to share the coordinates of the meeting place, Punta Morcone. I take the compass, I measure the distance of the point from the two grids starting with the latitude. I go to the vertical lines on one of the two sides of the map and as we did for getting the distance, I note the point. So in this case, for the latitude, we are at 42 degrees, 43 minutes and 8 seconds north, north because we are north to the equator. I apply the same procedure for the longitude and we are at 010 degrees, 22 minutes east. 
east because we are east to the prime meridian. I hope you guys enjoyed this new different video. There are so many other things about navigation we can discuss about. So if you enjoyed this and you want more, let me know in the comments below. Let me also mention that I've launched a new discount code for my digital product on my shop. You can see it here and you will find the link to the shop in the description section below. As I anticipated, I'm not sure I will keep this live for uh, long as cost have risen a bit too much for what I can afford. Uh, so take advantage of uh, the discounts. If you see anything you like, uh, check it out. So be sure anyway to subscribe. It's free, it's helping the channel, it doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.